Hi teachers, today I'm going to show you how to use a choice board along with an interactive Bitmoji classroom of books. Here's my Schoology course and as you see I have a Patricia Polacco classroom. All these books are linked so that when a child clicks on it, it'll take them to a video recording of the book. There are awesome teachers out there that have already created tons of interactive Bitmoji classrooms like these. For example, my Instagram friend, Ms. Kayla's Virtual Teaching, has tons of these ready to go. I'll share her link below this video. Once they read a book, they can complete an assignment of their choice from a choice board that you create. This is perfect for independent work or if you have a substitute that day. This choice board is editable. I created 30 templates in English or Spanish for you to choose from. The link will also be below this video. And remember, if you're from my district, email me and I'll gladly send it to you. Okay, so let me explain what I did with this choice board. I included instructions and I linked these visuals in order to link them to where they will submit or to a specific site that I'm giving them as an option to use. For example, here I gave them the option of using Screencastify Submit or Poplet. If they're not using one of those, then they're going to be submitting to a media album. And I included it below this choice board, but I also added a video, uh, a visual here that's linked so that when they click on it, it takes them to that media album in order for that for them to submit their assignment. So first I'm going to show you how I add this Bitmoji classroom to my Schoology course. What I did first was go to my Google Slides and I opened the copy of the Bitmoji classroom that I borrowed from Ms. Kayla. And when I first opened it, it didn't have this Bitmoji. So I had to get it from my extension and then I added it here to the classroom. And then you can go ahead and edit and add whatever type of um, pose that you want for your Bitmoji. And then once it's ready, I went to File and then Publish to the Web. I'm not going to link it, I'm gonna click on Embed. And here, the only thing I'm going to change is the slide size. Instead of medium, I'm going to choose small. If not, you get like a really big black screen behind your classroom. Copy that link, then go back to your Schoology course, click on Add Materials, Add Page, title it, and I'm not going to paste it here. On this top right corner, you'll see these two dots and it says switch to HTML. Click on that so that the dark dot is on the bottom and then click on copy paste. And here in the bottom, display on new page and create. This is the one I had previously but the one that I just added is here in the bottom. And as you see, if you hover over it, um, these, this picture is linked so that when the students click on it, it'll take them to those videos. Now I'm gonna show you how to add the choice board, how to edit it and embed it to your Schoology course. Not only did I include a PowerPoint with these 30 designs, but I also included a link for Google Slide so that you can go ahead and have a choice of how you want to edit and use them for your classroom. So you're going to go ahead and choose the one that you want to use for that particular assignment. And I chose this one right here. And like I said, they also come in Spanish with the title in Spanish, but you can type and add visuals, add links, add anything that you want. Now, I want to isolate just this slide. I don't want to use the other ones. I just want to use this slide. So what I'm going to do is click on File, Make a Copy, and instead of making a copy of the entire presentation, I'm going to click on Selected Slides. And here I'll, I'll title it, and then click OK. And as you see, you'll only have this one slide and you'll be able to type here and write the instructions that you want, 
add visuals, etc. So this is the one that I was writing on, and I'm going to show you how I inserted these visuals. If you have a visual that you want to add to your choice board, go ahead and save it to your desktop, and then you're going to go to Insert, Image, and you're going to upload for the, from the computer, or you can search something on the web. But here, I already have my visual saved. And here, I'll click on that image, and it'll appear. And then you can drag it, place it wherever you want, and that's where I added mine. In order to add a link to it, what I did was, in my Schoology course, I went to Add Materials, and I clicked on Add Media Album. I went ahead and I titled it, Submit Choice Board Assignment, or whatever you want to title it, and then Create. Once you create, um, you go ahead and take this link, copy, and you're going to click on the image that you added and then go to insert, go to link, and then you would type the link here of where you want them to go whenever they click on that icon. For example, here, I want them, this would be another choice. They can go to Poplet and create a timeline of the events that happen in the story. So here I have Poplet, and this is really neat because they can create um, kind of like thinking maps and different forms of, of timelines here. And I'm going to take this link, I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to go back to my choice board, select that image, go to insert, click on link, and paste it. So now that this is ready, I want to go ahead and add it to my Schoology course. What I'm going to do is go to File, Publish to the Web. I'm going to embed it. For size, I always choose small. If not, then I get like this black screen behind it and I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to copy it. And then you go back to your Schoology course. Go to Add Materials, Add Page. You can title it Choice Board. And then you're not going to paste it here. Before you paste, you have to go to the right corner. And where you see these two dots, you're going to click here and paste that code there. And then before you create, Go ahead and click on this icon right here so that it can display in line and create. Now, I already had this one posted, but you'll see it posted again in the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel in order to get more teacher tech tutorials. I hope these choice boards are helpful and let me know if you have any questions.